The NBA draft is a few weeks away and as usual, there's a ton of uncertainty surrounding the picks. Boston has the first pick and the Lakers for the third year in a row have the second pick. Nobody officially knows what Boston will do with the pick, but many people believe that they will not take Lonzo Ball. With that being said, Lonzo Ball is expected to be available at the second pick in the draft and he would be a great fit with the Lakers in many ways. But before I get into this video, if you guys enjoy NBA and basketball content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also smash that like button. Let's try to hit 100 likes on this video, that would be amazing, but let's get into it. So reason number one why the LA Lakers should draft Lonzo Ball. First of all, he's their missing playmaker. Now the 2017 NBA draft class is loaded with talented point guards and Lonzo Ball just happens to be the best playmaker in this draft. This season, the Lakers assists per game averages were in the lower half of the NBA. In fact, they finished the season with the bottom third ranking in offensive rating, assist percentage, and assist per turnover rating. Now a lot of this has to do with the type of point guards this team has, like D'Angelo Russell for example. Their point guards carry a scoring mentality and because of that, their point guards finished with the 5th fewest assists in the entire NBA. They need someone capable of bringing their roster together, and Lonzo Ball is the perfect fit. Last season for UCLA, Lonzo led the NCAA in assists at 7.7 .7 a game. He's been consistently compared to Jason Kidd and Magic Johnson due to his vision and creativity with the ball. Lonzo has the very rare ability to make everyone around him better, and he would be a key addition for the Los Angeles Lakers. Reason number 2. His shooting will help the Lakers offensively. Despite Lonzo's unorthodox form, he's a terrific three-point shooter. Obviously, the three-point line in the NBA is different than the three-point line in college, but regardless, good shooters in college are typically good shooters in the NBA. Lonzo shot over 41% from behind the arc this year for UCLA, and that's not bad at all. The Lakers, who were 19th in makes and 22nd in percentage, only had one player shoot over 40% from three this season, and it was Nick Young. Unlike some playmaking point guards in the league like a Rajon Rondo for example, Lonzo can finish at the rim and he can shoot from outside. This versatile combo would open up so many scoring opportunities for guys like Brandon Ingram and D'Angelo Russell. So kind of like how LeBron is surrounded by shooters, Lonzo Ball can create a similar effect with the Lakers. Because you can't leave Lonzo Ball open for three because he can knock down threes, and you can't give him a driving lane to the basket because he's a great finisher when in close. And with Lonzo's great finishing ability, and his ability to see the court, it could open up a lot of open shots for D'Angelo Russell who has proven time and time again that he can put the ball in the basket when he needs to. Not to mention, Brandon Ingram has shown a lot of potential for that Lakers franchise and he's only going to get better from here on out and bringing in Lonzo Ball will definitely help bring this team together quicker and in a more efficient way. And reason number 3, Lonzo Ball is the most anticipated player in the draft. Thanks to his outspoken father, LeVar Ball, Lonzo is quite possibly the most hyped player in the 2017 draft. And obviously, this would be great for the Lakers on the business side of things. Lonzo is the hometown kid, he grew up in Southern California, he went to high school in Chino Hills, and he went to college at UCLA. With that being said, many people who live in Southern California are very familiar with Lonzo Ball, and bringing in a hometown kid is always a good thing. I mean, look at LeBron in 2003. He, although he grew up in Akron instead of Cleveland, LeBron still brought a lot of hype considering he went to his hometown team to play in the NBA. I wouldn't be too surprised if Lonzo sells the most jerseys out of all the incoming rookies. I mean, like I previously mentioned, LeVar Ball is really the main reason for Lonzo's hype. He's made so many media tours going to Fox Sports and ESPN, and he said some very outlandish things in the past, but at the end of the day, his marketing strategy worked. I mean, it's easy to predict that Lonzo's first summer league game and his first game in the NBA will most likely bring in tons of viewers due to the hype surrounding him and his family. But like I said, Lonzo would be great for business for the LA Lakers. I mean, he's probably the most hyped player coming into the league since LeBron back in 2003. And with everything his father has said, you already know that his first game versus Steph Curry or his first game versus LeBron or his first game versus Markel Fultz is gonna be so hyped. I may be assuming way too much, but I definitely think Lonzo Ball has the ability to sell out games at any arena he plays in once he gets to the NBA. If I'm Magic Johnson or Rob Palinka, I'm looking right at Lonzo Ball with the second pick in the draft. He has the ability to make everyone around him better and he could easily improve the LA Lakers franchise from their current conditions. Obviously the Lakers have been struggling a lot. This is the longest they've ever gone without making the playoffs and they need some help and I think Lonzo Ball is the perfect fit 
for the Los Angeles Lakers. So those are the three reasons why I believe the LA Lakers should draft Lonzo Ball. Let me know if I forgot anything in the comment section down below. Like I said, Lonzo is literally the perfect fit. He grew up in Southern California. He's the playmaker that the team's missing and I think he can only improve the franchise. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button. But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'm out. Peace.